Um, it's been a bad week here at ACU. It's been very tough for all the Wildcats. Yeah. Um, as you know, I, I texted both of you that someone died. But shortly after that, I found out that I actually knew the girl that died in the car accident. She was um, in Seekers of the Word with me. And uh, it, it it is really hard to lose anyone, um, even if they're an acquaintance, or even if you don't know them. This campus um, is one gigantic family, whether we like each other or not, and it's it's hard on everyone. So, but um, there's a vigil tonight for it, and but we have to move on. We have to take these terrible feelings and continue to live because Lindsay, the girl that died, she was a wonderful, hilarious, bright girl who um, would want us to just keep living, trying to trying to be shine as bright as her. Um, so we will we will remember her, but we will also not let um, this defeat us. So, yeah. Other than that, it was a fairly, I mean, the weekend started off promising. Yeah. It was very nice. Mm -hmm. Tyler went to a lecture with um, Alex Cobb the night it that was it about, happened. It was about dark energy and dark matter and black holes. It was really, really cool. It was really interesting, and I would have gone, but I did make plans to go to Upland. Upland is a very unique place. Upland uh, is Abilene, even though it's it. not in Abilene. He's texting me. Let me turn this. He's so popular. Uh. But um, the night uh. before, the night before is Thursday night, and you know what Thursday night is. My dad's calling me. Sorry. He's I'm, gonna. I'm not, I'm not gonna answer that. Oh. So Thursday night, what happens Thursday, Thursday night? night? Everything happens Thursday night. What doesn't happen Thursday night? You go crazy. Woo! Um, what doesn't happen Thursday night is we don't have a life. Basically. That's that's free night, free college night at this place in town called Guitars. So Which is where people like Coleman Stapp and Haley Dale get go. their cowboy on. Yeah, but it's it, it plays country music, but it also plays like club music. So you go get your cowboy on, but you also get your like booty work. Yeah, you get your booty work in, left cheek, right cheek. Left Am cheek, I right? right cheek. What? What? Um, but we didn't go to guitars. Instead, no, I we've went. Never been there. <laughs> Instead, I went to maybe, which is the boys' dorm, mm -hmm. and I went to clean Alex and Hayden's room because that place. Is disgusting. She didn't see my room, luckily. I didn't step into that room. Because it is crazy nasty. My Latin instincts were telling me to clean, and I did. And I did mm. a pretty good job of it, although I yeah. didn't really get to finish because we kind of got distracted and we just... By accidental beer. <gasps> oh! Beer. Alex got a root beer making kit. Uh, Alex Buckle. And yeah. he has this weird... Um, like this hospital tool that doesn't work anymore that, you know, you use to pump like fluid out of like your lungs and your chest. Pretty gross. It's gross, but it was clean. It just didn't work. Yeah. So he got it somewhere. Not sure and, where. Um, yeah. And he took it and he used it as his root beer bong. Yes. He brewed root beer in it, which no, he didn't just like mix syrup and water. It's no, you, he brewed you it. May, you put yeast in and it, the yeast cultivates and makes it carbonated. Like, you know, but you know like how beer, after, but root beer. It, yeah, but you know how if yeast sits out for too long... With some sugar. With some sugar with it, it turns into alcohol. Glug, glug. Bottle so, sip, bottle guzzle. So after about a week of it sitting there, we had all tried the root, the root beer. It actually tasted really good at first, but they just let it sit there and sit there and sit there. And Thursday night, we realized... Hmm, this smells a whole lot like beer. Let's keep drinking it. So Go bottle sip, bottle guzzle. <laughs> so what they did was they made me chug some of it, and I didn't just chug some of it. I chugged a good half of what was in there. But Paul is strong, so uh, she didn't get wasted. So I didn't no. get wasted. Um, and then, but I did smell like beer. 
So, and then Jenny and Hannah and... Caitlin. And Caitlin all showed up, and it was just a, a party, and we were all like, ah, try this crazy bad-tasting root beer, because we didn't realize it was real beer Until yet. after everyone um, drank it. And then Alex Cobb showed up, and we showed him, and being the scientifically-minded person he is, told us, you've created alcohol, friends. And, and Alex Buckle and Hayden Walker are like, crap. Yeah. So, that ended quickly. And that they, escalated they, quickly. Um... I have a picture of this, but they so they flipped out and ran to the bathroom to try and dump it out, and they were trying to clean clean out the the bong device, and it made the whole bathroom smell like beer. But I, there, I have a picture of them cleaning it out and blowing in the tube, and there are bubbles in the water, and it looks exactly like they're smoking some kind of drug, and I just uh, I want to text it to their mother so badly. But, so that's our wild, crazy college experience. Thursdays, oh. things do happen, even yeah. if you don't intend for them to. Mm -hmm. But then the next night, Paul went with with some of the group, about half the group people in the group, to Oplin. Which is like this two-stepping center that's about 30 minutes outside of Abilene. It's, it is um, organized by the nice old people of, of a town called Oplin. Um, and and it, a lot of college kids go there to to just have a good time. It's, it's actually because, fun. Okay. Yeah, you can't yeah. you can't dirty dance when you're two stepping. No it's, profanity. That's a rule. Yeah, no profanity. So no getting low. The windows <laughs> the lo to the walls to the walls. There's to no the, sweat dripping down anyone's balls. There are no females crawling. Not at all. None whatsoever. No, no never mind. Let's stop this. Anyway, so, uh, but it was really actually fun. Mm -hmm. Like, you guys know me. I don't country. Tamara, you know I don't country. <laughs> but I definitely had a really, really good time. I wore, like, little, like, leather, you know, like, those little boots that are, like, leather? No Not like cowboy boots, just like, like, I didn't wear any cowboy things. I didn't. I wore black lace, and that was the closest thing that I had to cowboy yeah. things. And it was great. And we danced. I danced with Alex Buckle. A lot. A lot. And, and, <sighs> I have a, I, I, I lost... An argument, girls. This is this is momentous. Ooh. I lost an argument. Paul's really happy about this. But okay, I'm just gonna take over here. You know how I was trying to get her to ask Alex out. You know, reject those traditional female gender roles. Ask him out. And while they were dancing, um, Paul thanks Alex for asking her to dance, taking the lead. You know, taking on those traditional male gender roles. And Alex answers with. Oh yeah, Tyler says you like those traditional gender roles. Keep it that way. I like that. <laughs> so I lost. I lost. Woo! I, it, it's just frustrating. It's so, but right. but okay, really, who but lost really, in the end? Who actually? Because still who's still single? <laughs> All right. But what? While well, this was happening, um, I was at a lecture um, with Alex Corn of the Cobb, learning about black. Er, black holes and dark energy, which is also all very, very interesting. Um, we can talk about it sometime later, or maybe I'll make a video about it. But, um, and then later that night, we all found out that the wreck happened, and... Um, That's when things were got serious. Yes. And the whole night um, was a lot of sitting and staring mm -hmm. and hugging. Prayer. Prayer, crying. Um, it's really sad. But Just like... It was really hard seeing like people like like Tyler and and Alex and Hayden and Andrew like good guy friends. They got so emotional. Like I was very emotional, but it's just like it got to everyone. It really did, especially because we were we we're so close to the accident. Mm -hmm. And it, but it was beautiful how the entire community came together. Uh, but then that happened. Saturday, um, everyone just kind of rested, hung out. We went and saw The Hobbit again. I'd seen it for I the thought, first time. I thought, again, it I was just it. as cute. Not super epic, but it was awesome. And then this morning um, was interesting. Because, you know, you guys have been there for those days where I'm just really not cool. I get really clumsy, and not it's just kind of... Cool. Ugh. So, we... My friend M is British. Cool, right? And she goes to the Episcopalian Church in town, which is a descendant of the Anglican Church, which so it makes sense that she goes I'm there. I'm right. 
and it's this really, really pretty church building on, like, the south side of town. And I asked her if I could go, and then Paul came along, too. And, uh, so on the way, we stopped and got Starbucks. And we go into this beautiful church right as the service is starting, and it is, like, a stone... It's beautiful. ...beautiful church with stained glass. Traditional church. And I... We, we sit down, and, uh... We stand up and I put my Starbucks underneath the bench and we say some things, we chant together and sing a song and as we're sitting down I move my large clumsy feet and knock my coffee over. All of it. Like on these beautiful stone floors. A drop was left uh, inside the cup just just so you know. It was a it grande. Yeah, it was like this size and the lid came off. Uh, Everywhere. It wasn't everywhere. It was everywhere underneath, underneath our pew. Underneath the pew. And like... Um, so the, the guy behind us, though, the, who went to the church, immediately got up and went and got stuff to wipe it up. And, and his wife went and got like a rag to wipe, wipe, like a wet rag to keep it from getting sticky. And they were just really sweet. But it was still really um, embarrassing for M who goes there. And I think I made her angry by doing that, which is understandable. But... Uh, uh, I think she was like, eh. But, uh, so yeah, I had one of my terrible clumsy nerd moments today. But other than that, the service was absolutely beautiful. I had been missing out on that with all of my southern Protestantism my whole life. It was it was quite interesting. Paul is nothing new to Paul. She's 16 like... 16 years of Catholicism. What, what? I but knew all of it. 18 years of, of Church of Christ worship was... Um, that's very, very different. And I, I think it's kind of similar along the same lines of the way I think. So I think I might go back there a few times and see if I like it but so that's that's life up till now ACU life is pretty chill everyone's studying everyone's just living life this is Tyler walk 500 miles I know. this is Tyler this is Paul well we love you the both of you so much ha Corey I had coffee with your dad also haha -ha. I missed it because I went to Oplin Douchebag. I know, I am a douche because I literally forgot I was gonna get ready. Good luck editing all of this. Ah! <laughs> I'll edit the next one. Well, this has been us. We love you. We will be seeing you until the next video or the next Skype date. We love you guys. Hugs. God loves you guys. Hugs. Big hugs. Big hugs from Tyler and I. Kisses. Yeah. Besos. Yeah. Love you. Bye.